Welcome back. Today I had planned on taking you outside and making a oil cloth ground sheet and a couple of bags. A few things hindered that today. My neighbor has had its yippy dog out all day long and I can't stand it so I'm not about to put you guys through it either. And when I bought the bed sheets I did not realize they were not 100% cotton. They are a 60-40 blend polyester. So instead of wasting all the boiled linseed oil and mental spirit mix, I'm going to try it on some of the bags I made from the same material. All I did was um, take the little bags that they were made, that they came in, cut out the elastic, put my own drawstrings in it. So we're going to test it on these first and see if it works before I go ahead and go full scale on it. And if it doesn't, I'll buy a new bed sheet. I um, actually got two bags. I bought pillowcases with it and I figured a pillowcase would make a really good uh, kneeling pad. And I just took and cut the seam out and fed some 550 cord to it. And dual purpose, make a bag, make a kneeling pad, see what happens. So instead of doing too much with these today, we'll just do the small carrying bags, see how that works. Um, if it works out well, we'll go full scale. Otherwise, I'll have to buy some new cotton sheets and try again. So what we'll be using, I have pre-mixed for some other projects a small amount of boil linseed oil and mineral spirits in a one-to-one -one ratio. The linseed oil is what waterproofs it, but the mineral spirits what helps it uh, dry. Sorry, I forgot I left a radio on there. Um, otherwise, it would take a very long time, if ever, to dry for varying, varying things. It already can take a couple weeks to dry with the mineral spirits. Um, so we're just going to soak the bags. Then I'll go hang them outside and see how well it works. Now, linseed oil is flammable and it is said to spontaneously combust when left in um, like piles of rags. I have not had a problem with it, but I would uh, take that precaution and make sure you put your stuff somewhere where if it would uh, happen to catch fire you um, don't have to worry about burning the house down or anything. So this soaked it up real quick. That's kind of a little surprising. A little extras out. Got me a little bucket transport out of the house in. Part of the reason I was doing this is this Tyvek, I have a little kneeling sheet here, it's just so super loud. And the last trip it it was just annoying. I can't imagine wanting to sleep on it. And I've washed it and done things. And I decided to go a little more traditional with it. Let's see how this works. That's pretty much the gist of the whole thing when you do it. You need to saturate it, soak it. I bought um, pre-dyed bed sheets. I was hoping for a darker brown, but they didn't have any. Um, twins that were flat sheets so I wanted the next lightest color or darker color which was the tan and that should should be good to hide a little bit of the dirt I think and whatnot okay so I've taken the two bags outside hung them up on a clothesline where they can drip and not damage anything on the porch um, we'll check back in a couple days and give you an update whenever they dry out and find out if they are indeed waterproof Hope so, because those sheets are only $10 for a twin flat sheet versus, um, I think it's 23 I found some on Amazon that were supposedly 300 count Egyptian cotton. You know, it's the internet, so who knows what it actually is. Um, you know, save $10, I guess that's not a big thing. Could be. So we'll let you know what happens. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Till next time.